Hi friend, I'm diving deep into the books note max and uncovering 10 powerful tips and tricks to help you get the most out of this incredible ink device. Whether you're a student, researcher or productivity enthusiast, these features will boost your efficiency, streamline your workflow and enhance your overall experience. From hidden shortcuts to multitasking hacks and third-party integration, this video has everything you need to master the books note max. And here's the cool thing, if you stick around until the end, I've got something extra for you, but I will explain more about that later. Let's jump right in and explore what this powerful ink tablet can really do. One of the first things I do when setting up my books note max is enable the navigation ball. It's such a game changer because it lets me quickly access my most used settings and features no matter what app I'm in. Instead of constantly swiping or tapping through menus, I can just tap the floating navi bar and jump right to whatever feature I need. Turning it on is super easy. I either swipe down from the top right corner and enable it from the quick menu, or I go to settings, more settings, navi ball and switch it on there. What I love most is how customizable it is. I prefer setting it to auto hide when it's near the edge of the screen, keeping my display clutter free. I also switch it to a vertical layout because it feels more natural for me. Definitely take some time to tweak it for your own workflow. I was really excited when I first heard about the Books Rapid Draw app, because if you've seen my full video review, you know I've complained about the lag in the third party drawing apps. That delay between the pen and the screen makes those apps almost unusable for me. This app aims to fix that by letting me write directly on top of an app in real time just as fast as the native books app. Then the handwriting gets placed onto the app I'm currently using, which is honestly an awesome feature when it works. That said, my experience with it has been mixed. Sometimes the app freezes my original app. If I write for more than 5 seconds, I notice the screen made freeze too. And in rare cases, the app even closes entirely. So while it's a cool tool, it's not perfect. I've seen others having more luck with it than me. So if you want to try it yourself, I've linked it in the description below. Leave a comment below to let me know how your experience has been like with this app. One of the most useful features on the Books Note Max is Freemark, a system-wide handwriting tool that lets me jot down quick notes, make annotations and sketch ideas on any screen or app that I'm currently working on. This is especially helpful for third-party apps that don't natively support stylus input like newspaper apps, press reader app or even web browsers. If I want to make annotations on a third-party app, I simply slide down the control center from the top right corner and select Freemark. Once enabled, I can write or draw directly on the app's interface without any restrictions. After I'm finished, I hit the save icon, which takes a screenshot of my annotations and stores it in the images folder under storage settings. This way, I can easily access my notes later without worrying about losing them. To make accessing Freemark even faster, I assign it to my Navi ball. This allows me to activate it instantly without having to slide down the control center which can sometimes interfere with the content I'm viewing. Another great trick is using a three finger swipe from the top of the screen to quickly take a screenshot. Once the screenshot is taken, I can open it up, annotate it and save it, making it a great alternative to Freemark if I need to save my notes separately from the app I'm using. This combination of Freemark and quick screenshots gives me a lot of flexibility when working with third-party apps that otherwise wouldn't support writing or annotations. The Lasso tool is one of the most powerful features on the Books Note Max because it allows me to quickly select and move handwritten text or shapes with ease. Whether I need to rearrange my notes, organize sketches or link related content together, this tool makes the process seamless. There are two modes for the Lasso tool, Smart Lasso and Free Lasso. Smart Lasso is great for precisely selecting handwritten text or specific elements, while Free Lasso gives me more flexibility in drawing a selection area around anything I want to move or edit. Once I've lassoed the selection of text, I have several options. I can add a tag to categorize my notes, link it to another note for easy reference, attach it to a file or even create a direct link to a website. This makes organizing my notes much more efficient and allows for better cross-referencing between different pieces of information. Split screen mode on the Books Note Max is an absolute lifesaver when I need to multitask. It lets me view two apps side by side, either in a horizontal or vertical layout, 
so I can be more productive without constantly switching back and forth. I use this super often when I'm reading a book and want to take notes in a separate notebook, or when I'm working on a research and need to reference a PDF while jotting down key points. It's also perfect for annotating documents while keeping an article or a web page open for reference. Enabling split screen mode is simple. While I'm using the NeoReader app or another supported app, I just swipe down from the top and select the split screen option. After that, I can choose whether I want the split view to be horizontal or vertical. Once the screen is divided, I can open an existing notebook, create a new one or launch a third party app that supports split screen mode. One really handy trick is the ability to swap the sections instantly. If I double tap on the bar that separates the screens, the sides will switch places automatically. It's a quick and intuitive way to reorganize my workflow without having to manually close and reopen apps. This feature makes juggling multiple tasks so much easier and is an essential part of my daily routine. Before we jump to the next section, I just want to ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this video. Appreciate your support. Creating hyperlinked notes on the Books Note Max is amazing for organizing my documents, notes and references in one place. Instead of digging through multiple files, I can link notes, attach files, or even add direct links to websites for easy navigation. This makes research, studying, and project management so much more efficient. To do this, I use the insert option on the sidebar. From there, I have a few options. I can insert an entire image into my note, attach a document or an image, or create a link to another note within the NodeMax system. And if I want to cross-reference multiple documents, I can even link directly to a specific file or website and place a timestamp so I know exactly what part of the content is relevant. Honestly, this feature is incredibly useful when I need to keep track of multiple sources. Instead of jumping between different apps, I can access everything I need directly from one note. It's an essential tool for keeping my workflow smooth and well organized. Recording audio in the Notes app on the Books Note Max isn't just a simple feature. It's a powerful tool that makes note taking even more efficient. One of the best parts is that I can record multiple audio clips within a single notepad, which means I can keep everything organized in one place instead of dealing with scattered recordings or scattered files across the storage. After recording, I can easily access the recording list where all my audio files are stored. From there, I have full control over my recordings. I can bulk edit, delete or export multiple audio files at once, which makes managing recordings much easier. This feature is honestly perfect if you're someone who needs to capture and organize information efficiently. And for myself, whether I'm in a meeting, attending a lecture or brainstorming ideas, I know that I can always go back and listen to key moments while reviewing my notes. It's a great way to keep everything structured and accessible. Adjusting screen refresh settings on the Books Note Max is essential for getting the best balance between speed and display quality. Essentially, we have four refresh modes, Regal, Normal, Speed, and A2. Each mode is designed for different use cases, so experimenting with them helps optimize the experience based on what I'm doing. Generally, Regal and Normal modes provide the best display quality with minimal ghosting, making them ideal for reading books, comics, or any content with static images. However, they come at the cost of more noticeable screen flickering. On the other hand, the Speed and A2 modes prioritize performance, making them great for web browsing, multimedia and video playback. These modes significantly reduce lag and improve responsiveness, but introduce more ghosting. There's also an optimize option that allows me to further adjust settings like display DPI, font aliasing and refresh rates when switching pages. If I notice any issues with how an app is displayed, tweaking these settings usually help improve the experience. KO Reader app is a fantastic alternative to the default Neo Reader on the Books Note Max, especially if I want more flexibility and customization in my reading experience. What's kind of cool with KO Reader is that it offers a full screen reading mode that displays text and documents edge to edge, eliminated wasted screen space. This makes reading feel more immersive and distraction free. One of the best things about KO Reader is the variety of plugins it supports. For example, the Calibre plugin allows me to send documents from my Calibre library directly to my KO Reader device over Wi-Fi, making file transfers seamless. Another useful plugin is the Perception Expander, which helps improve reading speed by training peripheral vision. 
KO Reader isn't available on the Play Store, so if you'd like to use it, you have to download and install the APK from their website. I've included the link in the description for anyone interested. And just to be upfront, there is a little bit of a learning curve, so I recommend checking out their user guides to get familiar with all its features. Annotating PDFs on the Books Not Max is one of the most useful features, especially for studying, research or document review. Instead of just reading for a PDF, I can highlight important sections, underline key points and add handwritten notes directly on the document. This makes it much easier to retain information and reference specific sections later. When I open a PDF in the NeoReader app, I have several annotation tools available. I can use Highlighter to mark essential text, the Underline tool for key details and the Pen tool for writing directly on the document. I can also draw straight lines, which is pretty handy. I can also create a text box and enter type text using keyboard. If I need to erase or adjust an annotation, I can simply use the eraser tool. One cool PDF feature I really like is that I can add a blank page, which is great if I need more space for my annotations. All my annotations are saved with the document, so the next time I open it, everything is still there. And if I need to share or backup my work, I can export the annotated file as a new PDF. This feature makes reviewing and organizing documents so much more efficient. The Books Note Max is packed with powerful features that can make reading, note-taking and multitasking much smoother, but unlocking its full potential takes a bit of exploration. Whether it's using the Naviball for quick access, Freemark for annotating third-party apps, or KO Reader for an enhanced reading experience, there's a lot you can do to customize the Books Note Max to fit your workflow. And I've really just scratched the surface here. If you found these tips helpful, let me know in the comments which one you're most excited to try, or if you have any personal tricks of your own, please leave a comment and let us all know. I love to hear how you use your device. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more tips and reviews. But that's not all. As promised at the beginning of this video, I have 10 completely different extra tips and tricks for you. In the video right here, you can check out tips and tricks for the BooksNote Air 4C, which runs the same OS, meaning you can use these exact same tricks on your Note Max 2. And if you want to check out the full beginner's guide to Node Max with some additional cool syncing tips, here's the video for you. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!